Well, that was a closer round than the second, but I think uh, again McCallum did the better work there, Mike. Yes, I think I think Mike stole that round. Eddie Futch is in the corner there for McCallum, the great Eddie Futch, one of the all-time great trainers of boxing. Among the 16 world champions he handled, Joe Frazier. As we just look at some of McCallum's work again in that third round, they come out for the fourth. McCallum in the black trunks, Callum Bay in white. And so far, McCallum setting about this business rather well of wiping out the only defeat on his professional record. I was watching Mike prepare in Las Vegas. I spoke to him for some time and he was telling me the only fight that he's really going to pick himself up on is this, this fight against Colombe. He really trained very hard hard in, um, in the gym, top-ranked gymnasium, and he was telling me that, you know, this is, a this is one fight that he really wants to win. And two hooks to the head there from Car McCallum, doubling up on the left hook. Then the jab. That comes Callum, he's made to miss a couple of times. Better punch economy is coming from McCallum. He has a very good right hand to the right, right hook to the body and double left hand. Uh, those are his most dangerous punches, he's especially the left hook, the double left hook. Very effective. There was a time when people thought that McCallum would break into the big multi-million dollar purse league of the likes of Marvin Hagler and Sugar Ray Leonard and Roberto Duran, particularly after he'd done a job on Don Curry, knocking him out in five rounds. If you look at the source, if you look at the fighters that McCallum's beaten, Milton McCrory, Don Curry, he's beaten myself. You know, now you know why. He's, he's been avoided by all these, all these top men in boxing. Leonard, Hearns, none. They don't want to fight him because they know what he's capable of doing. He also knocked out Julian Jackson, the current WBC middleweight champion, in two rounds. Yes. That was uh, in his light middleweight days. A minute to go in this, the fourth round. That was a good right from Callum Bay, but he was caught on the counter by McCallum as well. McCallum has very good mobility. He's not stationary. He works from all sides. He can punch with either hand. And he's, he's really warm to his task now. Now he's taking up the pace. This is impressive from McCallum. And he looks the better of two excellent technicians at the moment. They are certainly a class act. There they are in the McCallum corner, watching the action, and they must be quite pleased. Coming up towards the bell for the end of the fourth round, McCallum's in charge of it so far. Will it stay that way? Find out in a moment. to Monte Carlo, Mike McCallum defending his WBA middleweight title against Sambu Calambe in the white shorts. Fifth round, and it's due to go 12, remember. So far, McCallum on the scorecards of myself and Michael Watson in front. I found Mike very hard to hit when I fought him at the Royal Albert Hall. I find it very hard to hit cleanly. He's a very, very good body puncher. You know, he just keeps on top of you, tries to keep on throwing combinations, and he, he gives, you know, he doesn't give you any breathing space. And I felt a little bit disheartened. I caught him my best shots, and there was no effect. He has a very sound chin. As a light middleweight, McCallum really was a very concussive puncher indeed. Uh, how hard does he hit up at middleweight, Michael? He, he's, he's not a devastating puncher. 
you know he relies more on his work rate. he's very fit he always stays on top of you and keeps you working you know he doesn't give you any breathing space you know he just it, it, it denies you room to breathe and you know he's just he's just remarkable he, he keeps inside and he keeps working that's what he's doing here there was one notable right uppercut from mccallum he's really starting to build the pressure on callum bay here and how he'd love to stop this italian african there's that uppercut again from mccallum thrown with great hand speed inside there clever clever punch he's very very precise as i've, as I've said he never he never throws a punch unless he knows it's going to connect very good mobility Callum Bay coming back well there, doubling up on the jab. Just look at the way you rise and punch in. Move that fraction away. Both look in great condition, both coming to the scales, just half a pound inside the 11 stone, six pound middleweight limit. Good body punching again there from McCallum. And he really is starting to turn the heat up on Callum Bay at this stage. We're watching two world, world class fighters at their best. So before you look at these guys and you know, and then you know what you've got to do, you know what you've got to do to, to become champion. You know. The way they pace themselves, the way the way they slip and slide. And Callum Bay coming back and scoring with his jab, first of all upstairs and then down. Beautiful. This is world class boxing at its best. And the jab again from McCallum, then again, then again. Once, twice, three times, ramming into the head of Callum Bay. Step back. I think Callum is beginning to feel the pressure. I think the pressure is getting to him. Although he scored quite well with his own jab there towards the end of the round but McCallum will go back to his corner as Michael was saying I think still very happy with the way this is working out he looks sharp and he looks really on the ball for this one there's Callum Bay uh, used to be an electrician in a mine in Zaire working nearly 6,000 feet underground and he reckoned that uh, boxing was a good deal safer than that and there he is taking the jabs of McCallum in that last round uh, McCallum was made to mi miss with that right Becomes certainly warm to the task now. He's, you know, he's getting it close now, working, working those body punches, and they're connecting very sol solidly. So Callum Bay has the job really of how to try to just turn the tide a little bit here. He may have to vary the game plan he came in with. There's a good jabs from Callum Bay. Found the range, beginning to find the range better with his jab now. Yes, Callum Bay. I think he's had some words from his corner man to keep McCallum at a distance because the closer they get you know, the more the more effective McCallum is everybody's waiting for this guy McCallum to suddenly show the signs of his age 34 remember Callum Bay's the same age mind you I suppose somebody will get lucky with him someday but I don't think it's going to be just yet he, he shows no signs that he's on the downhill slope to me I really don't know what keeps these guys going you know you, you look by judging on this performance you say to yourself what what keeps these guys so lively you know he still looks very fresh you know I spoke to him I learned a lot from Mike McCallum you know he's never gone over 12-5 in his preparation there's Eddie Futch watching in the corner, the uh, great old trainer and a really, really pleasant man as well. Always got time to speak to you about the fights. And uh, having him in the corner is a big plus as well for McCallum. I think Eddie's approaching his 80th birthday as well. Incredible. Great training, Eddie Fudge. He's been with the, the best, best fighters in boxing. Muhammad Ali, Joe Fraser. He's been with them all. And don't forget Archie Moore. Oh, that's a good left hook from Callum, mate. And McCallum took it very well. That's another thing about McCallum. He's got a superb chin as well, hasn't he? And I said to you, Ian, I caught Mike when I fought him. I caught him some really good punches. My best right hand shots never troubled him at all. I felt very disheartened. Tremendous work rate here from both of these two fighters. Uh, 
tribute to their conditioning at uh, advancing boxing years, it has to be said. Now I know what they mean by age is only a number. Mm -hmm. Well, if George Foreman can go in at 42, I guess there's hope for us all. Well, it's giving my dad hope. Next pro. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder where all this is going to end. We'll have Jersey Joe Walcott back soon, I reckon. Look at this from McCallum. Body shots and that to the head as well. And Callum Bay doesn't want to take too many of those. No, he's really doubling up on his, on his combination punching. That was another good round for McCallum, who's starting to open up a pretty sizable lead over the uh, first half of the fight. I've given him five of the first six rounds, McCallum. Don't know about you, Michael. Yes, I would agree. I think McCallum's really dictating the pace. He's keeping in charge. He's been the governor. And so far, he's, 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 winning, he's winning the fight. 